One of the best uses of the freezer is being able to store veggies that would otherwise go to waste. If you find yourself purchasing too many carrots by accident or having a particularly successful harvest in your backyard garden, this video is for you. Hi everyone, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. When it comes to preserving food, the freezer is one of the most valuable tools. A well-stocked freezer can help you put meals together even when the fridge and cupboards are bare. Cut down on your grocery bills and enjoy batch cooked meals at a later time. In this video, you'll learn how to freeze carrots so that you can enjoy them at a later time and avoid food waste. So how do you prepare carrots for freezing? First step, gather the following pieces of equipment. Veggie peeler, which is optional, a cutting board and knife. You also need a slotted spoon. I didn't have one, so I used my strainer. A bowl with ice water, baking sheet, parchment paper, and freezer bags. And I use the size medium Ziploc bags. You also need to bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Wash the carrots under cold running water, scrubbing away dirt as needed. Trim the carrots by removing the skin with a vegetable peeler, and that is optional, and slice them into half inch circles. So how long should you blanch your carrots? According to the National Center for Home Food and Preservation, diced or sliced carrots should be blanched for two minutes. Small whole carrots, like baby carrots, should be blanched for five minutes. Blanching is the process of cooking food for a short time in boiling water, followed by plunging the food immediately into the water, ice water, to stop the cooking. This process helps to preserve the quality, texture, color, and nutrition of the vegetables. Add the carrots to the boiling salted water and cook for two to three minutes. Remove them with a slotted spoon and immediately add to the mixing bowl with ice water to stop the cooking process. Let them sit in the ice water for a few minutes. I do not own a slotted spoon, so I used one of my strainers. Add more ice as needed if most of it starts to melt. Then drain the carrots and arrange them on a single layer of baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Place the baking sheet into the freezer somewhere where it can fit without getting bumped or moved and let the carrots freeze for one to two hours until frozen solid. Transfer the carrots to a freezer bag, leaving half an inch of headspace and seal tightly. If you're using a container instead, leave one or two inches of headspace to allow the carrots to expand. Can you freeze your carrots without blanching them? That's a great question. And the answer is yes, you can freeze raw carrots without going through the blanching process. However, they will lose their texture and quality more quickly if you skip blanching, compared to if you blanch them before freezing. To do this, again, you're going to wash and trim the carrots peel if desired, slice into thin circles, spread the slices on a lined baking sheet, and place the carrot slices in the freezer for a couple of hours before transferring them to a tightly sealed freezer bag. 
Next question is how long do you store carrots in the freezer? Well, if they're blanched, then frozen carrots can typically last up to 12 months in the freezer. But if you choose to skip the blanching process, frozen raw carrots will last up to two months. Another question is, is can you freeze cooked carrots? The answer is yes, you can freeze carrots that have been roasted, sauteed, mashed, or made into soup. Just transfer these preparations into freezer bags or containers, again, leaving a couple of inches of headspace to allow for expansion in the freezer. Most recipes can last up to three months in the freezer. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit like and subscribe. I post videos once a week on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and I would love to have you as a viewer. Also, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably really enjoy this next video to use all those frozen carrots. It's my creamy carrot soup with ginger. So if you click on the screen right now, you can go and watch that next. Frozen carrots are best used in soups and stews and casseroles or other hot dishes. You don't even need to thaw them or shorten the cooking time when using them in these kinds of recipes. If you want to thaw frozen carrots and eat them in cold dishes, they won't be as good as the fresh ones. They can get soggy or lose their texture. Stick to the hot dishes when using your frozen carrots. Some of my recipes that can use frozen carrots in place of fresh ones include the creamy carrot soup with ginger, my beef shepherd's pie, the easy potato soup, chicken noodle soup and dumplings, and the no stir crock pot beef stew. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make one video every week on Wednesdays and I hope to see you then.